Ever wondered how autocomplete works so fast? When you type just two letters and instantly see suggestions, there's brilliant data structure working behind the scenes. Let me show you the magic of tries. Imagine you have a dictionary with millions of words. You need to search strings efficiently. You need autocomplete suggestions. You need a spell checker. You might think, why not use a hash map? After all, it gives us O of one lookup time. But here's the problem. Hashmap cannot do prefix search. If I type CA, how do you find all words starting with CA? You would need to check every single key in the hashmap. That's inefficient. This is where the tree comes in. Also called a prefix tree. It's one of the most elegant data structures you'll ever see. Let's understand the structure. A tree is a tree where each node represents a single character. The root represents an empty string. Each path from root to a node forms a prefix. And complete paths that end with a special marker represent full words. Here's a simple example. Let's insert three words. Cat, car, and T. The root node has three children. C, D, and T. Under C, we have A. Under A, we have two children. T for cat, and R for car. Under the roots T, we have E, and under E we have a for T. Notice how cat and car share the prefix CA. This sharing is the key to tree's efficiency. The magic of tries is amazing. Each path from root represents one word. Shared prefixes mean shared nodes. This makes it incredibly space-efficient for similar words. If you have a thousand words all starting with the same prefix, you store that prefix only once. Let's talk about operations and their time complexity. To insert a word, you traverse character by character. The time is O of L, where L is the length of the word. To search for a word, same thing. O of L. To find all words with a given prefix, you first reach the prefix node in O of L time, then return all words under that subtree. To delete a word, you mark the end node and optionally remove unused nodes. Again, O of L. Now let's look at real-world use cases. The most common one is autocomplete. You type CA in a search box, and the tree instantly gives you suggestions like cat, car, cafe, cake, and so on. Dictionary lookup is another use case. Spell checkers use tries to quickly verify if a word exists. IP routing tables use tries to match IP prefixes. Even old phone keyboards with T9 predictive text use tries. Let me show you the code. It's surprisingly simple. First, we create a tree node class. Each node has two things. A dictionary called children that maps characters to child nodes and a boolean flag called as end of word that marks if this node completes a valid word. Next, we create the tree class itself. It has a root node. The insert method is elegant. Start at root. For each character in the word, check if it exists in children. If not, create a new node. Move to that child node. After processing all characters, mark the final node as end of word. That's it. The search method is similar. Start at root. For each character, check if it exists in children. If any character is missing, the word doesn't exist. If you reach the end, check the is end of word flag. The prefix search method is a bit more involved. You first navigate to the prefix node, then perform a depth first search to collect all words under that subtree. Now, when should you use a tree instead of a hash map? Use a tree when you need prefix-based searches. Use it when you're building autocomplete features. Use it when you have many words with common prefixes. The tree will save both time and space. What about memory? A tree uses more memory than a hash map for small data sets. Each node stores pointers to children. But for large data sets with common prefixes, tries can actually be more memory efficient. Plus, the speed advantage for prefix operations is unbeatable. Here are some interview problems where tries shine. Implement autocomplete system. Find all words on a boggle board. Design a search autocomplete system. 
Word Search 2 on Leak Code. Implement a phone directory. All of these become much easier with a tree. One more cool thing. You can optimize tries further. Compressed tries merge single child nodes to save space. Ternary search trees use three pointers instead of a full map. Suffix tries store all suffixes of strings for pattern matching. There's a whole world of tree variations. Let me give you a pro tip. When implementing a tree, always think about your character set. If you only have lowercase letters, you can use an array of size 26 instead of a hash map for children. This makes it even faster. But if you need to support all Unicode characters, stick with a hash map. Tree beats hash map when you need prefix searches, autocomplete features, or when you have many words with common prefixes. The time complexity for most operations is O of L where L is word length. That's independent of how many words you have stored. Try this at home. Build an autocomplete system. Start with a tree. Insert common words. Then implement prefix search. You'll be amazed how fast it is. Follow at s or j.learn for more data structures and algorithms daily. See you in the next one.